it's time to do a comparison review and a camera test between the LG G5 versus the HTC 10. So both phones are the flagship phones and of course if anyone in the world has like 600 or in between 600 to 700 dollars uh, he will definitely going to consider these phones uh, you know in, in his list of buying and uh, yeah let's just compare them first of all price wise at least where I live the LG G5 cost around in between you know around like $600 um, it's not available everywhere so of course on Amazon I think it's 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 a little bit lower than $600 but not that much of a difference between price this one is a little bit more pricey at least here it's around like $700 with tax included so yeah you have to pay a little bit more for the HTC phone uh, so yeah I mean price wise they are quite close to each other okay so with that being said let's begin with the build quality now build is a really important thing because you are spending a uh, lot of your you know a lot amount of your hard-earned money to buy these phones so build quality should be top-notch and uh, but I, I can see uh, based on my experience with these phones the HTC definitely wins when it comes to build quality no doubt about that I mean LG G5 modular phone great idea great stuff removal battery and all that but it's 2016 if you're getting a better build quality and you and you're getting a micro SD card tray then that's okay you know removal battery is not that much of a big deal nowadays uh, but the G5 you know definitely is a modular phone it has some great things to that but we're talking about the premiumness and this is definitely a more premium phone if you just hold it in hand you can feel it that it, that it is a premium device you know and uh, and yeah it's just comparing to the G5 which uses like a paint on the back it doesn't feel like an aluminum phone or metallic phone like the Nexus 6B or like this one so yeah it, does, it gives us a plasticky type of feeling so yeah that's that and also if we talk about here we just compare them like this take a look at the bottom you can see both phones have USB type C and their speaker of course down below and the microphone of course the HTC phone has dual speakers so you got the speaker here and like a woofer here uh, you also got this home button which is a great thing because uh, now uh, you will able to use it also as a as a finger sensor and also as a home button uh, and you also got these touch buttons uh, which is uh, the multitasking key and the back key whereas the LG G5 you, you don't get these uh, any uh, you don't any you don't get any keys on the on the front so you got the um, the on-screen button so I'm just gonna quickly unlock my phone okay and you can see that we got the touch buttons on-screen buttons so uh, also you got the fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone while well, here of course you got the camera sensor and the dual LED flash and uh, the laser autofocus HTC logo so yeah that's just pretty much the design let's move towards the uh, the uh, display here so you can see that the HTC phone has a 5.2 inch display and the LG phone has a 5.3 inch display both phones are pretty much pocketable uh, no issues uh, in using them and uh, they fit nicely they, they will fit nicely in your pants both are having quad H resolution the thing here is that the HTC phone has a brighter display compared to the LG phone especially outdoors so it's it's a kind of a uh, up thing or like a kind of a uh, plus thing for the HTC phone and it's definitely not as vibrant as the S7 Edge display you know Super AMOLED but still it's better than the, uh, the, the LG's display and uh, also if we talk about the software so both are of course having Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow if we quickly take a look here that of course both are having different skins this is the LG's UX UI whatever they're calling it and this is the Sense 8 UI uh, which is like a mixture of customization and also kind of a stock look so you can see this is how their quick settings looks like so you can see the thing that I like with the HTC phone that they have gone a little bit with the stock so stock looking quick settings here you can see custom settings and also if you go into main settings here on both phones you can also notice that the settings are also looking a lot more the whole setting menu is also looking a lot more uh, like the stock settings uh, like stock marshmallow you know the way on Nexus 6P while here again 
it's customized so again it's your personal preference I, I like both OS or like I, I like both skins on top and again you're not slaves uh, to use the skins you can customize them by having launchers and all that so uh, what else if we talk about the processor Snapdragon 824 gigs of RAM on both phones top-notch performance no competition there no or nothing to argue about that top of the line and uh, also uh, you know with the software combination uh, with the right type of uh, uh, processor and RAM they perform really high-end and uh, definitely if you are uh, concerned about their speed then I think you are uh, having some problem with yourself because they are just absolutely beast they can do anything uh, they want you know any game you can play it on the quality HD display so it's just amazing so let's move towards the camera now the camera on both phones are great both have laser autofocus both have optical image stabilization both have f1.8 aperture size so we got 12 megapixel camera on the HTC phone with dual LED flash and we got two camera sensors on the G5 one is a 16 megapixel main camera and another is the secondary 8 megapixel camera for wide angle shots uh, you do get uh, the, of course, 8 megapixel front camera uh, with f1.8 aperture size, and also on the HTC phone, you get a 5 megapixel front camera with optical image stabilization. So, that is something that you will uh, not going to see. I mean, of course, at, at least now there's not a phone out there that has OIS on the front camera. So, in all, overall, picture quality wise, I think both phones have their own differences a little bit color wise. I enjoy both phones, they have uh, great quality overall. Uh, both in low light and outdoor and again it's just your personal preference whatever you uh, phone pictures you like it is your you are the judge here and also both phones can record up to 4k at 30 fps and as well as slow motion video hyperlapse and they have uh, a manual mode dedicated for of course capturing photos you can control ISO white balance and all that kind of stuff so let's take a look at the 4k video So yeah, it's just your personal preference, so please let me know in the comment section down below uh, which you think is the better when it comes to camera. And uh, lastly, if we talk about the battery, now here uh, is based on my usage, I use YouTube, I use, you know, um, I use Instagram, of course I manage my social accounts and all that, and I do gaming occasionally. Now based on my usage, I was able to get around 5 hours and 24 
minutes of screen on time on my HTC phone, while my LG phone gives around like four hours or or, or around four hours fifty uh, four four hours twenty five twenty six minutes. You know, it, it's not up to the level of HTC phone because it has a two thousand eight hundred million part battery, which is less than the three thousand million battery of the HTC phone. But again, the battery is better here, but it's not a big big difference there. So again the the choice the final choice uh, you know which phone you buy is basically depends on your budget and also uh, the build quality you know the big difference is the build quality is just again if you're okay with this plastic key type of feeling then yeah you can consider this phone and you like power button or the the, the finger sensor on the back and you really like the extra wide angle camera there then you can consider the G5 but otherwise if you buy these both phones, I'm pretty sure that that you're not gonna be facing any problems. Their cameras are good and all that. So again, uh, it's just your personal preference. I've explained. I think the better quality. If you want the better build quality, go for HTC 10. It is better, and you will love it. So, yeah. Uh